What's up, guys? Ricardo the Barber here. Um, just want to give a quick shout out to Faded Cuts. He um, hooked me up with a real nice sweater, nice hoodie, barber and hoodie. Guys, feel free to check him out on Instagram. Help him out. Um, Don't be picking your nose. Okay. <laughs> Sick. All right. So part of the reason why I have this channel is to help everybody out um, who's trying to learn how to cut hair, um, and whether it's me teaching you or someone else on my channel teaching you, my the whole point of this channel was that you can learn. So today, I'm gonna to be bringing you my first feature. All right, it's someone that I, um, I appreciate their channel. Uh, I've learned a lot from their channel and you know, you can never be the best and say you know it all. Uh, Cause this is definitely an industry where you don't know it all. So, um, you know, even from guys who aren't you know, don't, don't have as big as a, as a channel as, as I do, um, I, can st I still watch every day haircut and videos and learn whatever I can from videos that, you know, most people haven't even seen because I'm searching every single day for stuff. So in order for you to, to, to get better, you always have to be learning. And um, today we got a, uh, a comb over, uh, advanced comb over fade by 5150 Cuts. I'm going to uh, link the Instagram from earlier from Faded Cuts, and I'm going to link 5150 Cuts uh, below. You guys can feel free to click on it and check out the stuff that they have. Guaranteed, you're going to learn. No matter no matter what video you're looking at, there's going to be something you don't know. Pick it up, use it. All right, That's the best part about barbering is that you're, you're always going to be learning. If you if you stop, then you're basically saying, okay, this is the, this is the best I want to be. Um, don't do that. All right, Always take something. Take, take whatever you can from anything um, and incorporate it into whatever you do, all right? Um, do you want to say hi? Mm -hmm. Can you say hi to everybody? Hi, everybody. <laughs> uh, all right, that's all we got for today. So I uh, hope you guys liked the video. Definitely feel free to support uh, 5150 Cuts and Fading Cuts. Uh, and wish you the best, all right? Peace. 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 Come on. Peace out. Come on. You know how to do it. Open them. Peace. <laughs> Later. What's up everyone? This is Global Cuts and thank you for tuning in to 5150 Cuts. Make sure to follow up with us because we'll be uploading videos every week. Like, subscribe, share, and comment. Thank you guys. Today I'll be teaching you guys how to do a creative haircut. It'll be a frohawk comb over with a hard part. I'm starting off the haircut with my wall detailer. That's my first guideline. You could also use the T outliner if you wish. The key is to get rid of all the hairs as low as possible to have it prepare for the shave, which will be the next step. You could also work from bottom up or up down, whichever you like. So here I'm using the wall shaver, which is my personal favorite to use. I like the fact that it leaves it real smooth and you go against the grain whichever angle without irritation. Now here I have the 5 wall star, which I moved it up to the zero, closed lever. As you see my guidelines are like half an inch wide. And just follow up with, with the bottom shave guideline. However you shave your guideline is how you pretty much have to follow your next guide on top above. Here I'm using my lever open or the half, creating another guideline about half an inch wide. You see how I try to keep the sides by the temple area a little bit dark? That's going to pretty much give it the burst effect. And make sure your guidelines are not too open or too close. You got to make sure you have enough space to create the nice blend so you won't create too much heavy shadows. So make sure you try to follow up as you see my guidelines. So right here I'm using the one level open or a one and a half. Again, I'm repeating the same process as before, about half an inch open. I'm not creating any blends right now. I'm just creating a guideline. So make sure you don't try to do a blend yet. And on my model, this is the right side. This is where the hair is going to fall from the comb over. So you have to make sure you don't go too high and make sure that you use a little bit of comb over clipper, which we'll show you in the next step. Here's my last guideline. This is a two open. The reason why I say my last guideline is because I like to use a clipper over comb. 
on top of my two open. I don't like to use the three on number four or number five, for example. So just pay attention how here I'm kind of flickering off the long hairs, kind of preparing it for my clipper over comb. And we're going to move on to the next section. As you guys can see, the hard part is already growing from the previous haircut. Kind of follow up the shape that you see already on the screen. So here I'm using again the wall detailer. Symmetrical. Whatever you do on one side, you do to the other. Get rid of every excessive hair, very clean, and again use my wall shaver. Back at it, we're using the zero, which is a closed lever, half an inch, going all the way around. Here's where you got to be a little bit more careful, because as you see my hard part, you don't want to go over that hard part. You want to keep it a little bit dark or basically underneath the hard part. Also on this angle, you kind of get a better view of the backside of the frohawk. You don't want to take too much off. You want to leave enough where it looks dark and full. I've seen frohawks where they really look too skinny or a little, you know, a little off, too thick, you know, too thin. Uh, this is my personal way of doing them. So if you guys like what I'm doing, just follow up with me. Make sure you don't want to leave hairs overlapping in the back area. Here's the little technique that I use to make sure my clippers are not too sharp. Now here's where I begin to find the center of the nape area where I'll begin my frohawk, the V in the back. Make sure it's leveled out and centered. I choose to use like a small comb after I use my detailers just so there be no extra hairs overlapping your, your, your line. Be very careful, make sure your model does not move or talk during this section because you have to be really precise and detailed. Sorry about my buddy in the back, he's over there disturbing my barbers. Okay, so we move on to the right side. Try to use a mirror if possible when it comes to this, this part of the haircut. Okay, if you guys can see it now. Again, I'm not going to touch the center or the bottom of the V because I want it to be dark full. And I'm using uh, my electric shaver here every angle if possible because the hairs grow in every direction usually in, in clients. Here's a little technique that I like to use. I grab a good hold strong gel to separate my part to create the part. Once I move my long hairs out the way I begin to pretty much part it. Because I've seen people do parts and once they start cutting some of the long hairs and then create the part. When the hair is dry, it looks like there's two parts or it's too thick. So I never like to touch none of the long hairs over my part. Okay, now, so here I'm working on my, my edge up. Make sure you want to do it as natural as possible. Don't give them pushbacks, you know, because all that is going to be green in a couple days. See how I use my left palm to move the long hairs out the way? That's kind of important technique too. You don't ever want to touch those long hairs from the comb work. So here I'm using a, what I call a two short. It's a metal guard number two. That one, whether it's open or closed lever, it blends right in into my plastic guard number two. It's very good for detailing. Now make sure I brush every time after I could, just to work clean. And I'm working on my lever, working to my closed lever. Also work on your hand maneuvers, tilting the clippers, light pressure, heavy pressure, different angles. Have in mind that whenever I switch clips, I start from open, work my way down to the middle, to the close. That's very important. Here I'm showing you guys that I have the one open. Again, look at my look at my maneuvers, how I tilt the clippers or put it flat to the scalp. Those are all techniques barbers need to know. And I begin to close it, work my way down to the middle lever. That way I make sure I be, I be very detailed with my blending work. And eventually it's gonna, I'm gonna end it with the closed lever before I move on to my next clip. 
visualize an imaginary guideline that you will not have to pass it because if you do you're going to create another guideline so be very be very careful how high you go every time you switch clips and just a few other tips the lighting is very important no matter where you work at whether it's in your garage or in a mom and pop shop or a high-end shop whatever it is you got to make sure the lighting is really good in order for you to see results and have a mirror So now I'll move on to my half clip, which is the gray clip. I also seen it like in a, I believe a green color clip, but um, this one's really good for detail. You use it after the one. Start open to the middle and then close. This one will really make a big difference. So a little bit about the gray clip. That you know how we have the number one clip and then we have the note guard open? Well, this is where this one comes in handy. It's pretty much in between the one and the note clip. So if you want to get that great detail, make sure you get yourself a half clip. That's when it comes in handy. So here I already took off the clip. Now I'm using the note guard open, which is very lightly. A few hairs are going to be coming off, but you're going to see the difference. I might be using a lot of, a lot of clips in this haircut, but it's very important for you to get that right blend. And whenever it comes to the no guard, also here's a tip. Be careful on the guards that you guys use on the clippers. Some of them are really sharp that could yank pores or be too rough on the customers. I like to use the original guard from the um, from the wall detailer, from the gray one. That's the one I use because that one does not bite or is not too rough. And I'm moving on for one of the final touches, which is erasing my last guideline from the shave. Usually, sometimes I, I see a lot of barbers complain that they can't get rid of the shave, the shave line, which would be the last one. This is when this technique comes in handy. I flip my wall detailer upside down, stretch the skin, and begin to use it lightly. You see the little the maneuvers I'm using? That, I don't know if anyone done it before, but this, I've been doing this for years. After spraying some water, I'm ready to begin my shave. So here I'm using the Victor Barber razor, which you could purchase at TimelessProducts.com, one of my personal favorites. I like to always keep my comb on my left hand for any brushing. Okay, so here I'm using a 45 degree angle. Very, very light and quick maneuvers for my shaving. So whenever I use the comb, it's pretty much removing the hairs that I just shaved. Again, try to keep a natural, natural part, natural line, not too thick. These little touches I'm using here are the ones that my electric shaver couldn't really reach. And I'm using a backhand stroke on this, this angle here. As we move on to the other side, we gotta remember everything has to be symmetrical. So if we, if, if I were to tell you the guidelines that I use, it would be my shave, my zero, my half, one open, and two open. On top of my two open is going to be comb work. That's the only difference because this is where the hair falls in. For those of you trying this uh, technique, working with guidelines, I suggest you guys write it down on a piece of paper and basically be very detailed as far as uh, after the guidelines, what numbers to use and uh, how to use it. Because it, it might be a little confusing at first because I do teach barbering and I always make sure my students write down everything I do because you will have to go over the paperwork and see it. So if you go over a quick review, again, we're going to do shave, zero, half, one open, two open, comb work. And in between those, for working from up, up to bottom, we're going to start with the two and then work our way to the two short, which would be the, the, the low number, the metal number two, I'm sorry. One open, one close, half guard open, half guard close no guard open to close and then we'll end it up with the uh, double zero or the detailer so again you know rewind the clip if you have to take notes because you will more than likely need a paper to guide you follow up with your notes and I'm gonna finish my uh, my last step here by doing the little technique I like to use when I flip over my my clippers and yeah. stretch the skin don't forget So here is basically where the area where it comes in handy when is the um, clippers over comb. 
So when I mean clippers over comb, I'm pretty much replacing the number two, the number three, the number four, etc. Learn how to use the comb work in different angles. Practice practice at home if you have to. I know sometimes it could be a little a little weird working on some angles, but you know it's all in the practice. Let's give it the natural look here. Make sure you don't want to take off too much at every stroke. Notice how my comb work angles seem to always seem different every stroke. And again, you know, you might start off taking off a little bit. Once you become more and more confident, you could take off more with the clipper over comb. It's always better to be safe. If you guys are new with the with the clipper over comb, you could also use a guard. You put the wand just to be more safe. And for those of you with more experience, you could even use clippers over comb with the closed lever. I like to use the open, which is the half. I have a little bit more control. You don't cut too much, you don't cut too little. And now here I'm using the Johnny B, the flat comb, the flat top comb, I'm sorry, which is my personal favorite to use. So some areas might seem a little bit difficult, just take your time, do small strokes if you have to. And here I'm applying the gel. And the reason why I'm applying gel already is to basically remove the uh, the hairs from the front from the uh, from the forehead I don't want to ever cut into those you see how there's a few hairs kinda like growing the opposite direction well that's the reason why we uh, put gel and separate them so it'll look more natural because either way those hairs that I'm cutting right now are not gonna ever go back because they just grow the opposite direction so I gotta make sure how the natural hair grows and then that's where I'll take it with my next step by putting on the gel those are all little those are all baby hairs right there that I'm cutting. So again, make sure you use the mirror as you do your line work. The mirror is your best friend. Work with it. It will not lie to you. Sometimes, you know, I've done haircuts where I didn't use the mirror and then I'm done with the customer. I show the mirror and I need to go back to it because the mirror will tell you everything. Mirror and pictures. That's where you'll really see every little detail. So here is a little backhand stroke that I like to use. It takes a lot of practice to use this technique, you guys. So be very careful when you guys work by using this technique. Make sure he's lather at all times. You know, if you work real slow, make sure you re-lather. It's your personal um, option to use water or clear shaving gel, etc. I like to use the clear shaving gel, my personal favorite. You could easily re-lubricate, add a little bit of water, and you'll be good. And then move on to the other side, same process, same technique. On the hard parts, usually some customers like it real natural, real thin. Some of them like it from thick to thin. Th those are all personal options. All right, you guys, so anything after this, you could apply pomade or you could just leave them how it is with just the hair gel. It depends on the product you guys use, you know. So um, thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure to follow up with us. 5150 cuts make sure to like subscribe comment any questions feel free we'll get back to you guys and thank you again follow at global cuts